Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Shoe Snob unboxing video series, One Take Wonders. Here we are with something very exciting. Um, something I know many of you have been waiting to see and that I've been waiting to show you. Um, on a side note, I'm trying out a new, I realized that my camera phone actually has these different levels of quality. So I'm using a higher quality in the hopes that it gets a clearer picture all around than all my other attempts before. Um, I look forward, forward to hearing feedback on that and always the issue is the sound. Everybody wants to tell me to get a microphone. I'll work on that as well. First, I want to nail the quality, then I'll worry about the microphone. So yeah, let's get back into it. <clears throat> this is a brand uh, that has been making a lot of waves, doing some of the most beautiful shoes that I've seen. Uh, for a long time, uh, if forever, just some of the most beautiful sh shoes I've ever seen in my history as a shoe snob or just as a person in general <laughs> looking at shoes. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of at a loss for words because it's so exciting and I only have so much time with this video format because of the high resolution. I only have a short period, not a short period, but a set time to be able to film before my phone runs up of space. So let's jump right into it. The brand is Grazia uh, out of Taiwan. Um, and many of you have probably heard that from me. If you follow me a lot, if you're just discovering now, you'll be pleasantly surprised when you see this box open. But uh, yeah, Grazia Shoes of Taiwan. Been doing some of the coolest stuff I've seen. Uh, the owner, Will Bertu, is a real artist and gentleman and has a very fine eye for detail, which really, for me, is what separates his shoes from the rest. So, let's take a look. I received the package. Uh, the package came with a perfectly fitting bag. You can see that everything is well thought out. Everything is in this like really strong canvas-like material. You have a hemp cord. Everything looks very durable very strong, this is a very strong bag. This is also a very strong box. Something very unique and very cool was the fact that there's a photo, and this is, I believe, also a photo that was on Instagram. <laughs> Sorry, I had the photo backwards. A photo of the shoe on the inside, which is great. If you have a lot of shoes like me, you'll know that keeping track of them can be difficult. Some collectors take photos and put them on the outside of the box so they know what's inside. When you have that many, sometimes you can even forget the names of them and what they are without actually seeing them. Um, on the box, so the box is a push and pull. Uh, this is, yeah, push, pull, however you want to call it. And on the outside, uh, to show you the factual details of the model, you actually have it written in hand. So the patina is Mysterious Lake. The leather is called Venus leather with a strap and alligator. Hand welted, it tells me. Then it gives me the last, I believe, GO831, if I read that correctly. And then it says patina. Uh, and I believe it says EU40. So let's take a look. All right, on the inside is a care card that gives you instructions, tells you a little bit about everything, preserving your shoes. It's also a thank you. Um, wow. So here's something that I did not know, and I'll read it to you because this might entice many of you. Uh, it's my interest many of you every VIP is entitled with lifetime free maintenance and one patina color changing service uh, the clean and fill form and color range shoes and wax punch looks interesting um, so you get basically if you mess up your shoes you get one get out of free a get out of jail free card so they'll fix your shoes if you mess them up they also have a kind of maintenance service that they recommend to send your shoes back to Grazia every 60 days I presume this is a, a paid for one 
and they will uh, fix your, will revitalize your shoes. So, recommended two month uh, maintenance service and a one get out of jail free patina refurbishment in case you mess your shoes up. I think that's quite a smart, uh, a smart uh, offer in there, and I'm, pre I, I presume all the clients will take them up on that. Uh, all right, let's. Yes. As time is of the essence, let's take a look. So we have a beautiful care card. Um, we got the shoes, we got some bubble wrap. Let's get this back over here, down here. Bet you guys are eager to see these real beauties here. Real, real beauties. All right, well, let's just quickly touch on the bags. Staying in tune with everything. You can see that everything is white. Uh, care cards are usually white. Box is white. Bag is white. Shoe bags are white. All in this very thick, strong white canvas. Um, very durable, of course. It is a thick material. So let's get these out of here. Now let's just focus on the glorious shoes. So for those that know me, that know my brand, that know, have followed me, you know that I love butterfly loafers. Um, I, <laughs> believe it or not, I probably own like 30 pairs of butterfly loafers. So needless to say, yeah, I really do love that model. I kind of have a problem. So when I saw Grazia's version, which was very unique with this very sharp uh, ends to it you know a peak point at the end whereas this is usually rounded I was very intrigued so if you look at it it's it's almost like a uh, you know comes down concave line as opposed to the butterfly which usually has like a figure eight kind of look to it so they change that which is what I love about Grazia because they're you know I love brands that take classics and then reinvent them because I think you know Trying to reinvent the wheel by making completely new stuff is great. It's super challenging to, to, to get people to come on board with that. Something they're not visually used to. But something that is a, a twist uh, from some, uh, uh, an original concept, but giving it a new kind of look and outlook, I think is a smart way to, to do your business. Uh, you offer them something different, but not completely new, you know? We all know I'm a man. Many men have hard time with change. <laughs> I do too. So doing that is like a subtle step uh, into the to the room where they then can open their mind to completely new changes. So so needless to say, when I first saw these, uh, I was intrigued. There's so many details here. I'm gonna talk fast because I gotta get through a lot of it. Um, Right off the bat, something that I noticed that was so intriguing that I had not seen before is look at this line. You see this line where it's low and then it slopes up and then on the inside it's excuse me, it's higher. So if you know anything about the anatomy of the foot, your ankle bone is higher on the inside and lower on the outside. Now, <clears throat> This is a problem for a lot of people that have lower ankle bones and hit the specifically the outside of a shoe and that is very difficult to break in and it causes a lot of discomfort. So Wilbur, the owner of Grazia, being the thinking man and obviously details are pertinent to this gentleman as it, they would be because he's a real artist, uh, he thought about that. And I was curious to try that on and see, um, because sometimes in loafers, I do suffer that as well. Uh, and so that was a, a very smart detail, um, very smart. So you can, if you look at the back, you can really see that kind of, uh, that slope coming down. Whew, shoe is just, just flawless. A um, lot of shape. It's a nice, nice size heel. I normally don't wear, this is probably an inch and an eighth, verging on an inch and a quarter, maybe inch and a quarter, I would say. It doesn't look overly long, but man, it's very well executed. 
This leather is phenomenal. I, I did not actually look at where the Venus leather is from, and I can't recall in the interview that we had where he said it was from. But this is some of the most plush leather I've seen in a long time. The pores are beautiful. Probably makes patina and, uh, patina in them a treat. And I love this dark teal color. I really love teal. I think it's such a, an attractive, striking color, unique. Um, I think Wilbur, so Wilbur made these for me. Obviously we made a pair of shoes for unboxing because you know, he's one of my supporters and I really love his brand. I really think he needs to be known because I think he's producing some of the coolest and well-made stuff there is in the industry. So when we discussed an unboxing video, he, I, we didn't actually discuss what I wanted. Uh, him just paying attention to what I say. Uh, he created this for me. I, I don't even think I, I'm not even sure. I may have just told him my size. Um, and he actually made me a 40 and they fit perfectly, perfectly. It's weird because when I look at them, they look wide and I'm, and I'm not sure. It's, it's crazy because I have a narrow foot, but they fit wonderfully. And when I touched my, the edges of the ball of my foot, it, I was pressing against the sides just the right way. Um, I believe that the spade like sole kind of visually makes them look wider as well than they actually are. But the reality is I took a 40, um, which is smaller than I normally take. And that's what I usually take if a model runs big. So please do bear in mind, half size down on your loafers going with Wilbur because normally I'm a 40 and a half. Um, so do bear that in mind. Of course, always discuss with the shoemaker your sizing and how they think you should take uh, your size in their shoes. Always the smartest. But I'm normally 40 and a half. I took a 40, fits like a glove. Yeah, so, wow. You can really tell that this shoe is hand done. The polishing of the heel block. Now, I haven't seen that in a long time. This is very reminiscent of a true bespoke shoe. Um, you can see, so, when you start to see that something is like, you know, not razor sharp like a, like a machine, that's a very good indication that it was handmade. Um, you got the little notch where the heel meets the, um, the waist, beautiful. Jesus, it's just lovely. The stitches to the inch are so tight. Well, at least the fudge wheeling is so tight and the stitches, this looks like 15 to 18 stitches per inch. It's crazy. I, I won't be able to show you this. I'll show you this in the up close detail. There's just so many things. I only briefly looked at these when I first pulled them out. I didn't want to do too much. One thing that I've been incredibly impressed with with Wilbur is his sole work. I mean, this, this quilted kind of waffle-like but curved pattern is so difficult. Most people will take this for granted because they've never used that tool. One mess up and you've ruined it. One and you've ruined it. So to do this takes extreme patience uh, and finesse because it's not easy. It really isn't. I think he told me that each side takes 45 minutes. So you can imagine just doing the the detailing that's not including the shaping of the sole the coloring of the sole just that wheel like detailing the fiddle back is a really nice fiddle back really pronounced nice deep waist with a very okay it's not the most narrow waist i don't personally love the most narrow waist in the world but that's a nice a nice width not overly narrow but quite narrow for those that really like that and again Wilbur's added a spade, the spade ends there to make a spade sole. Uh, you know, I could really go on and on because the shoes are just phenomenal. Um, I think he's really doing a great job.
I think is a true artist and it's exciting to see uh, people that uh, have this kind of attention to detail and putting all of their passion into a pair of shoes and you see it, you see it when you open this box, you see it, you feel it. Um, and the crazy thing, the shoes, you know, they range from about 900 to $1,500. Um, and they say hand welted, but I feel like these are, they feel like they're hundred percent handmade. Maybe they machine stitched the sole, but everything about them screams handmade. Um, they really do. You can see the little <clears throat> point details on the tip of the sole as well to go in tune with the spade sole. Just incredible, you like that catch? Incredible shape. Beautiful shoes, beautiful model. And what I love about his patinas, they're so deep, they're so vivid. He made another pair for uh, another fellow shoe enthusiast and this brown like tan color, orange tan, gorgeous. Just imagine the color option of purple, red, it's, it's infinite. So let's, qu let's quickly take a look. As you can see, there are fully lasted three-piece shoe trees in here, which I know for the real shoe snobs, you guys love this. So there's the middle piece, the end piece. Let's pull out the front piece. The front piece is always a little bit more challenging. You can see that's definitely lasted. Um, you can see the holes on the insole, which indicates that it really is hand welted. If you don't see those, the brand is lying. That means they're good, you're welted. So seeing the nail holes on the insole shows that they were hand welted. Those are there. Lining is, you know, as you would expect from a high-end maker. Beautiful lining. The very, I love the logo. It's like, a, like his signature. Got yeah, it's very nice. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful shoes. I can't say enough. You can, you can now without the shoe tree, you can see how this line is lower because if you look directly, you, your line of sight then hits the inside. Um, yeah, great stuff. Wonderful leather, wonderful details. Nothing wrong with them, of course. I, again, when you're in this caliber of shoes, there shouldn't be anything. I mean, I would point it out, but there's nothing to point out. There's nothing wrong with these shoes. Um, as again, there shouldn't be. Anyway, do stay tuned as we do the up close detail video where you can really take a look at the, the details that I'm talking about. Now, knowing these videos, it's mainly just to, to see how they come out of the box, to quickly talk about the maker, to quickly see the, the shoes. But we're gonna get into some more stuff. Cus uh, video. How do I put this? Somebody who watches my videos gave me a great idea about doing videos, like trying the shoes on, I guess, so they can see how the shoes fit. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. I'm gonna to try to do that as well and get to uh, give a new kind of view. Uh, I guess people, fit is obviously a big, uh, a big concern when buying thousand dollar shoes online. So uh, yeah. <clears throat> really happy to present this brand to you. Wilbur's a really nice guy. We have lots of correspondence. Great person. Um, making phenomenal shoes. If you are looking for something that is unique and of the highest quality, I definitely recommend him. His prices seem incredibly reasonable for what you're getting in return. Uh, anyways, thank you as always for tuning in. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. This all helps in this world where algorithms are against you. We need all the, uh, the help we can get if we want to spread good information. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll be back for more. Take care. Bye-bye.